Ron, I'm Nick in the States, and today we're going to talk about the Harley Benton L450 Plus in Honey Burst. Ooh, step closer. All right, so what we have here is your typical Les Paul copy made in China from Harley Benton. What you can see is uh, two humbuckers, pickguard, flame maple, uh, laminate top. Standard two volume, two tone, um, Chinese style, uh, two pneumatic bridge, stop tail. A very, very, very nice two piece mahogany ish body. I believe it's a um, uh, Asian mahogany type species. The neck is a three piece neck, so there's a small scarf in the heel, uh, or small two piece in the heel. Scarf uh, two-thirds the way up the neck. Vintage style tuners with actually very classy looking green bobbins that uh, they seem to look a little more green there than in reality. They can almost have like a jade kind of style to them. Harley Benton logo, cool little quote unquote inlay, which I'm pretty sure they're little super thin mylar stickers that are put on before they clear coat. Can't feel them, but they almost look like an inlay though. Kind of classy. Gibson inspired truss rod cover, kind of like an Epiphone's. Nice quality, you know, standard import, uh, Les Paul style inlays. Rosewood neck that actually isn't as dry or as abused as even some of the Gibson necks I've gotten of late. Action once again, haven't touched, haven't even taken the plastic off the pick cards yet. <laughs> But nice action, clean, good neck. A couple little, just a little bit of adjustment needed on the, the frets on the treble side, especially the last little guy there. I don't know if you can see it, but that one's a little bitey. But for $150 guitar, really, what I've got to complain about. Uh, Wilkinson pickups. If I can remember the W, I would say it now, but I can't, so I won't. Um, these have the little mini style Chinese. Um, pots in there and the box like non CTS style switch but look at that she's pretty quick first things I think from a fit and finish it's better than a lot of the Epiphones I've played of late um, you know the key spots is like taped off where the binding is or even on the top um, or up here you often see like just poor stuff paint bleed that kind of things and you just don't see it the binding's real clean all the way around. The wood's just just gorgeous. Um, the plastics, I feel like the so-called poker chip and the pick guard are straight from Epiphone, whereas these are kind of that slightly off color. Still not horrendous. They're not like chips and gross rings, but they're just a slightly different color. Nice knobs though. I mean, all in all, they're not the cloudy weird cheap ones. They're a pretty nice quality knob. Um, that I'm not really going to complain about very much at all. Um, in a pretty accurate shape. Here's where I can flash up the, a picture of it side by side with my Gis uh, Gibson Les Paul Traditional Plus. And it was um, you know, good enough for government work. Really close. Better than like your modern Agiles and things like that. So about 150 bucks from Thoman.de. Um, like in my other video, it's a combination of Thoman sourcing these, you know, a relatively unknown brand, having them built in the same factory as Epiphones in China, and uh, selling direct. And then the value of the dollar to the euro right now, I think every euro buys a dollar five, seven, nine, somewhere in that range. And compared to how it used to almost be two to one, it means that you buy a lot more with your dollar. And I've been buying a lot more of these with my dollar. In fact, I have two more en route being in about a week an SG3 pickup style and a P90 gold top version of, of this guy right here. Um, really cool stuff. Link below. Check them out. 
But this guy, I'll tell you what, um, the pickups aren't quite what you, like a 57 Classic Gibson one, but... <laughs> She sustains really nicely. <laughs> so rhythm and then middle. Bit of something there. Um, come in, clean it up a little. Using uh, a Yamaha THR 10C, it's kind of a Brit blues. Back the gain off a little bit, give a little more guitar volume. Nice clean tones, articulate little notes there. Getting yelled at. Too loud. Okay, my apologies. Love you, bye. I just got yelled at. Shh. <laughs> Let's uh, we'll back that off a little bit. Great little guitar. Check it out. This is good. You know, the top is very similar to like the Lemon Burst stuff from Epiphone. Made in the same factory. Hmm. Um, accurate shape though. Nice carve. Great feel. Really substantial weight. Um, she weighs just about the same. She might weigh like a third of a pound less than my Les Paul traditional plus top. Um, she plays just fun. Uh, you know, I would, if you're going to get it with these pickups in it, so the 450 plus comes with Wilkinson's, the 450 regular I don't think does, and then the 400s don't. Um, if you're buying it to plan to swap the pickups up, then you buy the cheaper guitar. The cheaper ones. The cutaway might not be quite as accurate on the 400s, um, or even the 500s, which is their custom version. Um, but they're the non-Wilkinson pickups. You save a little bit of bucks there, and if you're going to go throw a set of EMGs or whatever in it, buy those. Um, if you want to buy a guitar that you, six months a year, you probably won't swap these out, maybe until you want to get a you know, pair of Buddha pickups or some other cool, neat things. Cool. Plan on Keep around for a little while. Um, try it out. See how it goes. Um, but before we go, since we did get yelled at, just look at it. It's just, it's just nice. Harley Benton L450 Plus in Honeyburst. <clears throat> Take a look, check them out. As always, I did just get yelled at for being loud, but I am Nick in the States, and I have issues. Take care.